Despite what you might be thinking, these two circles are not equal. I repeat, these two circles are not equal. One is in fact larger than the other. What I need you to do is determine which one that is. So, please raise your hand if you believe the blue circle is larger than the red. All right. Please raise your hand if you believe the red circle is larger than the blue. All right, very good. Now, before I said anything about these two circles, what was your first instinct? Equal, right? Because they look equal. And the reason why they look equal is because, in fact, they are equal. These two circles are identical. <laughs> Yet I got just about every one of you to raise your hand and say that they're not. So what did we learn? That you can be manipulated like that to believe in something that goes against your natural instinct. Just, just imagine. Just imagine, as a child, you're taught that the blue circle is larger than the red. If you say it enough times, you convince yourself that's the truth. If you're told the lie enough times, it becomes part of your reality. And if enough people are taught that lie, that the blue circle is larger than the red, well now it becomes part of the culture. And if that culture then passes that misinformation along to the next generation, well now it becomes tradition. And what we have to remember is that just because we have a tradition doesn't mean it's morally acceptable. Tradition and morality are not always the same. So the traditions we have today doesn't necessarily mean they're morally acceptable. And as we evolve as a culture, so do our traditions. Now, the matrix is a story. It's a story when told enough times to enough people, it becomes part of that culture. It becomes the tradition. And this story is being told over and over every day. In fact, if you believe the image on the carton is where you're getting your milk from, you're deceiving yourself. This is a fantasy. It only exists in your head. It's a blue pill fed to you by the industry to get you to buy their product. This is the matrix, the lie we tell ourselves about where our food is coming from. The reality is far more disturbing. 90 to 95% of the milk, the meat, and the eggs that we consume in the United States are coming from these conditions. Now, this is called factory farming. This is where you take thousands of hens, pigs, and cows, you can find them into warehouses. In fact, every year in the United States, 10 billion, right, 10 billion cows, pigs, and chickens are being slaughtered for food. So what that works out to be is that every second in the United States, 300 animals are killed, just like that. So, 300, 600, 900, 1,200. By the time I'm done talking today, there'll be over a million animals that have been slaughtered. And most of us don't even blink an eye. I mean, how is it possible that in the United States of America, we can kill, we can slaughter 300 animals every second and not question that because of the story we've been told. The story justifies the action. If you say it enough times, you actually convince yourself that's the truth. How many of you were taught as a child you need to eat meat to get protein? I know I was. How many of you were taught you need to drink cow's milk to get strong bones? Not dog milk. <laughs> not chimpanzee milk. Not elephant milk. Not rhino milk. Not hippo milk. Not tiger milk. Not lion milk. Not giraffe milk. Not elephant milk. Did I say that already? I think you get the point. Not even our own mother's milk. But we need to drink cow's milk to get strong bones. The absurdity of drinking the milk from any other species and any other being besides her own mother, when it's said enough times, loses its absurdness.